We're obviously in the Fed's quiet period right now, but that doesn't mean that we can't look at how they decided to enter this quiet period. Because I think what Powell said, what Bullard said that we've covered in previous videos, gives us uh, plenty of information to go into the Fed meeting, which is ultimately the biggest thing for the market. We're seeing days like this, we're seeing rallies like last week on this notion of peak inflation, that the Fed is going to see the data and it's gonna be better, the CPI data particularly, and then all of a sudden we can see a market rally. And I will, I will grant you that if we get lighter than expected CPI data next week, the market will rally on that and we will experience a day of rally. However, I think that rally will be followed up because the Fed, I believe, talks the day after or the day after that, will be followed up with additional hawkishness. And I'm going to read you some, some quotes from Powell right now that indicate to me why this will be the case. This is the first one. And it goes right to the point of inflation and being better than expected. While the October inflation data received so far showed a welcome surprise to the downside, these are a single month's data, which followed upside surprises over the previous two months. As figure one makes clear, this is in this talk, down months in the data are often followed by renewed increases. This might be different this time. I'm not saying I expect CPI to be higher. In fact, I expect CPI to be lower. It looks like it's had a little bit of a downtrend over the last four months. However, I think a lot of this has to do with oil prices. And I don't know how soothing that is to the Fed, that the inflation pullback we've seen is largely due to the fall in oil prices, because now the strategic petroleum reserve releases are coming off the table. China is reopening. There's reason to believe we might see another run in oil, maybe not to new highs, but it seems that with China being closed down and strategic petroleum reserve releases, we might have made a bottom and a floor here in that with those two forces going in reverse, we might see a rally. That's reasonable to believe. I think, uh, I think that will, um, will, will help guide the Fed and give us right now some information on what they're gonna do. But nonetheless, let's go to a couple more quotes. It will take substantially more evidence to make clear inflation is actually declining, okay? That should be very straightforward. It will take substantially more evidence to make clear inflation is actually declining. Now, in past videos, we've made the distinction between core PCE and CPI data and the Fed's preferences for either one. Here, they really explain what exactly they're talking about. And I'll read this quote now. Core inflation often gives a more accurate indicator of where inflation is heading. Pause quote. We're going to get right back to it. Where inflation is heading. Not where it's been, not where it's peaking, where it's heading. So, where it's heading. Note what I'm about to finish this quote with. Open quote. 12 month core PCE inflation is at 5% in our October estimate, approximately where it stood last December when policy tightening was in its early stages. Over 2022, core inflation rose a few tenths above 5% and fell a few tenths below, but mainly it moved sideways. So when will inflation come down? I could answer this question by pointing to the inflation forecasts of private forecasters or FOMC participants, which broadly show a significant decline in inflation over the next year. But forecasts have been predicting such a decline for more than a year and core inflation has moved stubbornly sideways. So we've seen inflation continue for more than a year at this 5% rate. The latest data says 5%. It's apparently, according to the Fed, an indication of where inflation is heading. So con considering it has stayed at 5%, it's heading nowhere. As he just said, it's heading sideways he basically shut down all forecasts of inflation declining, so he's not seeing anything, okay? The market is not seeing things this way, obviously. We've seen a tremendous pullback in bond yields. We saw a tremendous one-hour rally last week. The market doesn't want to buy it. It wants to buy bonds. It wants to push yields lower. 
I'm sticking with what the Fed's saying. I think they're right. I think inflation's staying high. I think we're seeing an artificial somewhat slowdown based on oil prices being down. Hopefully they stay down, you know, from the standpoint of inflation. My assumption is not expecting that, not expecting new highs imminently, not gonna try and make things too crazy here, but I think 80 to $100 barrel oil is the range they're gonna try and stabilize things at. And that's just the way it's gonna be. So I'm not convinced that the Fed is gonna be super dovish, but I acknowledge that the market likes to act in strange ways and might give us a strange rally. But I think these quotes should highlight the Fed's thinking. So when you hear people talk about peak inflation or inflation's declining or the Fed, this, that, go over what I, what I read. I'm just gonna read all the quotes for you one more time so this can really be clear. There's plenty more, you can go to the Twitter, you can ask me if you want more. But here are the Fed quotes from Powell that he just said with regards to inflation, because that's a very important thing. When we're getting the CPI data, that might cause the rally to the market to rally for a day. I'm gonna read the quotes now. While the October inflation data received so far showed a welcome surprise to the downside, the, these are a single month's data, which followed upside surprises over the previous two months. As figure one makes clear, down months in the data are often followed by renewed increases. It will take substantially more evidence to make clear inflation is actually declining. Core inflation often gives a more accurate indicator of where inflation is heading. 12 month core PCE inflation is at 5% in our October estimate, approximately where it stood last December when policy tightening was in its early stages. They did their first hike in March. Over 2022, Core inflation rose a few tenths above 5% and fell a few tenths below 5% or below, but mainly it moved sideways. So when will inflation come down? I can answer this question by pointing to inflation forecasts of private forecasters or FOMC participants, which broadly show a significant decline over the next year. But forecasts have been predicting such a decline for more than a year and core inflation has moved stubbornly sideways. End quote. End quotes. That's today's video. And until next time, peace out.